at Da Vinci Learning, the youngest come first. They do, after all, have lots of questions and are particularly curious. And to make sure it stays that way, children learn something new every morning. From maths, physics, biology, geography, and many other subjects. Can education be fun? With Da Vinci Learning, it is. Good to know that parents can always count on it. Your morning with Da Vinci Learning. So you would like to know what E equals MC squared means? No problem. If you want to move this ball, you have to apply energy. In soccer, for example, it's muscle power. To get the ball rolling faster, you have to apply more energy. In the process, the ball becomes heavier, its mass increases. But what's that? As it approaches the speed of light, the ball becomes infinitely heavy. And even though you push it harder, it doesn't go any faster. For nothing and no one can be faster than light. But what happens to the energy? Because it can't just simply disappear, it's transformed into mass. It's exactly this relationship between energy and mass that is expressed in the formula E equals mc squared. So energy can become mass. And conversely, mass can be derived from energy. Little Einstein. Hey, don't throw that drink can away. Watch this, I'll make it roll without even touching it. To power it up, you'll need a balloon and... <laughs> Give it a good rub on yourself or anyone else's. Now hold the balloon a little bit in front of the can. The can will start to roll all by itself. Hey, let me try. It's called static electricity. Nice handy, John. Backyard Science. Two racers stand on the starting line. Ready? takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds to get to the sun from the Earth. If you try to drive a car from the <laughs> Earth to the sun... Woo! See ya! At 100 kilometers per hour, it will take about 170 years to get there. My goodness! I don't think I can come back to Earth by car. Oh, my goodness! Everything's falling apart! The Adventures of Leo and Cooper Learning together is simply more fun. And that's why families can share exciting discoveries morning and afternoon together. Clever and mischievous hosts explain everyday phenomena in extraordinary ways. Enjoy astonishing experiments and fascinating films non-stop and maestro classic stories about everything from medicine to world history have made learning fun for several generations. Your day with Da Vinci Learning. Es gibt sogar Berge, die können Feuer spucken. Klar, das wisst ihr natürlich, Vulkane. Und dann gibt es Leute, die wollen unbedingt wissen, wie es da drinnen aussieht. Zum Beispiel der Fotograf Carsten Peter. Mm, lecker! Marmelade! Ich heiße Carsten Peter und bin Fotograf von Beruf. Für spektakuläre Fotos fliege ich rund um die Welt. Besonders fasziniert bin ich von Vulkanen. Die fotografiere ich am liebsten. 
obwohl das sehr gefährlich ist. Gut ausgerüstet seilen wir uns vorsichtig in den Vulkankrater ab. Hier ist noch nie ein Mensch geklettert. Dann mache ich endlich die ersten Fotos. Jetzt stehen wir direkt an dem Lavasee. Niemand weiß, wann und wie hoch der Vulkan die Lava in den Himmel schleudert. Es sieht fantastisch aus, ist aber lebensgefährlich. Trotzdem bleiben wir die ganze Nacht in dem Vulkan. Marvy Hammer. It has taken thousands of years and enormous effort and ingenuity of people everywhere to give us what we have today. You will find out about all the people who helped create our world of today and who are shaping the world of tomorrow. Now, who would we be? What would our world be like? If it weren't for the genius of the inventors and the discoverers, huh? You tell me that. Once upon a time. The best programs for the best time of day. Dive into a new world and be inspired by the fullness of the colors of life. Indulge your inner curiosity every night with amazing documentaries on current subjects and the latest discoveries. Enjoy biographies of the greatest inventors and witness images of nature's breathtaking beauty. Be selective. Your evening with Da Vinci Learning. Blossoms are never dirty. Can we keep our cars clean the same way? Through evolution, Mother Nature fixed most problems of life. Bionics applies this genius of nature to today's challenges to make us all faster, to build a better future, and to help us survive. Don't miss the Emmy Award-winning documentary Nature Tech on Da Vinci Learning. Nature Tech. Here's the thing about North American wood frogs. They're small. You can find them here in southern Ohio and all the way up to the Arctic Circle. But wherever they are, once it gets cold with the first sprinkle of ice, this frog does something I didn't know was possible. As soon as the frog touches, just touches an ice crystal. This animal is going to freeze. Freeze, freeze? Freeze, solid freeze. That touch of ice immediately sets off signals inside the frog, says Professor John Costanzo, that pulls water away from the center of its body so the frog's internal organs are now wrapped in a puddle of water that then turns to solid ice. There is no breathing, no kidney function. The heart stops. Really? It sounds like it's virtually dead, no? We know that the frog isn't dead, but he's probably about as close as you can get to being dead. Yes. <laughs> Until the springtime. When the days grow a little longer and the ground gets a little warmer. And then, well, a kind of miracle happens. After weeks or months of no heartbeat, none, suddenly there's a pulse. And that first heartbeat leads to another, and then another. And then within a day, and in the case of this little frog, it took about mm, 10 hours, the animal literally comes back to life. Nova Science Now. Galileo Galilei 
we pronounce sentence. He questioned the church's view of the world and radically changed our own. Galilei was a mathematician, a philosopher, and an astronomer, a heretic, and a father. If there's any one single person who can be said to have created modern science, it's got to be Galileo. I wanted people to understand that nature gave them eyes to see her works, but also brains to make them capable of understanding them. Galileo's battle for the heavens.